I think I was able to sweet talk him into a test drive. Go easy on me. Yeah, let's do it. Amanda Martin probably never dreamed that she would become a reality TV star. But life often takes people on unexpected journeys. The year 2016 marked a turning point as Amanda soared into the limelight as a prominent figure on the reality television show Iron Resurrection, standing shoulder to shoulder with her husband, Joe. Swiftly resonating with audiences, Amanda effortlessly endeared herself as a beloved figure, earning widespread acclaim for unparalleled expertise and unwavering dedication to the craft. However, being thrust into the limelight comes with its own sets of challenges. But how did Amanda deal with all the hardships she faced on the show, working alongside her husband? If you want to know all about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. And let's get started. Iron Resurrection centers around the bustling activities unfolding at Martin Bros Customs, a renowned car shop nestled in the picturesque Texas Hill Country. Despite its moniker, the driving force behind the establishment isn't solely the Martin Brothers. Rather, the dynamic power couple steering its success consists of Joe Martin and his accomplished partner, Amanda. In his formative years, Joe harbored an enduring admiration for Boyd Cuttington's craftsmanship. However, the prohibitive cost of Cuttington's creation stood beyond Martin's financial reach. Undeterred by his limitations, Joe embarked on a journey of crafting his own automotive marvels, leveraging the expertise gleaned from neighbors and his own self-taught skills. Cunnington's influence on Martin's craft remains palpable, yet he's not the sole figure Joel holds in high regard. Alongside his admiration for Boyd Cunnington, Joe Martin is also an added admirer of Wayne Carini, the affable host of Chasing Classic Cars. Joe Martin's journey into televised automotive craftsmanship began with his appearance on the renowned Biker Build-Off aired on Discovery. Subsequently, he ventured into establishing a bike shop, deviating from his initial focus solely on cars. The demand spurred by his triumph on the Discovery Show in the 90s led him to delve into motorcycle customization. However, an abrupt market downturn resulted in the closure of his venture. Undeterred, he returned to his original passion, restoring and reviving classic and vintage cars. The turning point for Joe Martin's transition into reality TV luminary and the genesis of his own show lies in his victory in the biker build-off, which captured the attention of producers. Intrigued by his skill and charisma, the producers approached him to create fresh content for the Velocity Channel, later rebranded as the Motor Trend Network. Collaborating with his brother Jason, the Martin brothers crafted a compelling teaser reel that resonated profoundly, birthing the inception of Iron Resurrection under a lucrative five-year contract. Within the production, Jason Martin assumed a pivotal role as one of the show's producers, orchestrating behind-the-scenes operations. Meanwhile, Joe Martin, accompanied by his close confidant, Jason Shaq Arrington, takes the lead in the hands-on restoration work, supported by their adept team. Amanda Martin, Joe's spouse, employs her financial acumen, hailing from a banking background, adeptly sourcing vehicles at budget-friendly prices, wielding an encyclopedic knowledge of every hidden gem tucked away in barns and car sheds across the vicinity. The duo acknowledges that their television stint has catalyzed a profound transformation in their lives, as they find themselves approached by fervent admirers at airports and automotive exhibitions. Nonetheless, Joe humbly attributes his success to a stroke of fortune, emphasizing their ordinary nature despite their newfound celebrity status. So what makes Iron Resurrection different? First and foremost, the Martins prioritize a drama-free environment in their work ethos. Similar to any other car shop or workplace, there's a distinct camaraderie among the cast, evident through their jokes and pranks. However, there's a notable absence of tension, profanity, or excessive stress within the crew. Joe Martin firmly believes that since none of them are actors, fabricating drama for viewership should be left to the professionals. Diverging from previous automotive shows known for exaggerated modifications, Iron Resurrection opts for a different approach. The cars featured on the show eschew over-the-top alterations or ostentatious hot rodding, departing from the style exhibited in earlier programs like Vegas Hot Rods. Instead, the show meticulously resurrects old and nearly defunct vehicles, meticulously reviving them using a blend of authentic and contemporary components, breathing new life into these automotive relics from the inside out. What sets them apart is their commitment to crafting cars that aren't excessively modified reflecting their pride in creating vehicles likely to endure years of robust use for their owners. Amanda Martin assumes the role of co-owner at Martin Brothers Customs, not only overseeing crew management, but also actively promoting the business across her social media platforms. But how did her journey commence? 
Originating from Red Oak, Texas in the United States, Amanda Martin's maiden name is Keith Lee. Following her education, she embarked on a career in the banking industry, initially joining Wells Fargo, a multinational financial corporation. Diligently working her way up the corporate ladder, she ascended to the role of branch manager at Wells Fargo. Later, she transitioned to Pioneer Bank in Austin, Texas, assuming the position of assistant vice president for a commendable two-year tenure. Despite transitioning to a smaller scale bank, her expertise proved invaluable. Subsequently, she ascended further, becoming the vice president of deposit operations for an additional two years before taking on the mantle of product manager. In 2017, seeking new horizons behind her confines of an office job, she departed from the company in pursuit of fresh opportunities. During this period, Amanda's husband clinched a television competition, catapulting him into the spotlight and securing the necessary attention and funds to establish a joint venture with Amanda as his business partner, the birth of Martin Brothers Customs. Departing from formal employment, Amanda directed her focus toward personal entrepreneurial endeavors, subsequently co-founding and co-owning Martin Brothers Customs with her husband. Martin Brothers Custom has solidified its reputation for remarkable metal fabrication, meticulous detail, and masterful painting ventures across the Texan landscape. The company specializes in seeking out and resurrecting old, near-defunct bikes and vehicles. The show orbits entirely around the custom shop and its dedicated workforce. Each episode shines a spotlight on the team's endeavors as they undertake the restoration and revitalization of various vehicles. While Amanda doesn't engage in hands-on work, she adeptly services and coordinates the crew's activities. Throughout the remarkable span of the series, the crew has taken on the restoration of iconic vintage cars, including a 1970 C10, a 63 Impala, a 1950 Mercury Coupe, and an astonishing transformation of a 1962 Chevy truck into a custom lowrider. Across its impressive four-year run, Iron Resurrection has aired four seasons in total. Despite the misconception that Amanda's role in Iron Resurrection seems effortless, the reality diverges vastly. Her invaluable managerial prowess stands as the backbone of Martin Brothers' success story. Without her adept organizational skills and strategic guidance, the company wouldn't have attained the soaring heights it boasts today. Beyond her professional endeavors, Amanda Martin radiates a profound love for animals, particularly dogs, who hold a special place in her heart. She cherishes spending quality time with her furry companion, often featuring them as stars on her Instagram profile. Furthermore, Amanda actively supports causes aimed at raising funds to benefit dogs, reflecting her unwavering dedication to animal welfare. Delving into her personal life, Amanda and Joe proudly embrace parenthood, nurturing three children, one of whom bravely battles cancer. This pivotal event sparked Amanda's interest in children's cancer research, prompting her steadfast support for several years. Her contribution extends to generous donations at St. Jude's Hospital, an active promotion of fundraisers dedicated to educating and raising awareness about various childhood cancers. Balancing a bustling family life with her professional commitments, Amanda's days are often hectic. Nonetheless, she prioritizes moments for personal joys, relishing activities like immersing herself in nature. She finds solace in strolls, observing her surroundings, and soaking in the tranquility near bodies of water. Regarding her wealth and her net worth as a public figure, Amanda predominantly earns from the restoration and fabrication business operated by her family. Her pivotal role within the company entitles her to a substantial share of its profits. Furthermore, Martin Brothers Customs engages in merchandising, selling various items like the FlexFit Martin Brothers hat. Considering these aspects, Amanda Martin's net worth stands at around $300,000. Contrary to the trend of seeking continual spotlight presence in the entertainment industry, Amanda remains focused. Iron Resurrection stands as her sole television venture, and her future plans in the entertainment industry remain uncertain. Maintaining physical fitness amid her demanding schedule remains crucial to Amanda. Despite her packed agenda, she prioritizes incorporating exercise into her routine, highlighting her commitment to a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Ultimately, Amanda Martin dedicates herself to living her best life while actively promoting her family business alongside the Martin. That's all for today. If you are interested in more, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.